successful in recruiting and employing and growing their business. Uh, they've done it right. They've walked through all of the regulatory and environments that to, be, to become successful, so who better to market the state of Iowa? Will those donations be public? The, all the activities of the, um, of the, of the agency will be. Uh, the uh, other contributions on, that are the nonprofit, uh, I'm not sure about that. I, you, you can well, basically, it depends on what the activities are. If the authority contracts work with the nonprofit, which the legislation allows for that to happen, of course, that would obviously have full transparency. So anything that's associated with any kind of public dollars would have the transparency that Iowans demand and should have. At the same time, though, the money that is raised in the nonprofit, particularly on the stuff that we're doing with the Innovation Council, no, would not be made public because that's why it's done in a private corporation. Um, and that's why you're using private funds to leverage that. And then when we talk about salaries, though, I mean, we did, I mean, it very clear that when that fund gets set up, those demonstration funds, that obviously they will want to have those professionally managed. That's not a skill set that I possess, and it's not a skill set that anyone on our staff possesses. So, of course, that's when you're talking about salaries, those kind of salaries that would be paid for from the private sector and not with public dollars. And there's not to say, though, that there wouldn't be something set up on a pay for performance for key staff. But all of that is left to be determined on by the board of directors that will set those policies and uh, those efforts. Uh, what fund are you talking about? Uh, that would be, well, basically, when I'm talking about demonstration funds, those would be funds that, right, currently, of course, you know, all that is up for discussion right now with this legislature of what funds we're going to have with the department. But any funds that process or transfer to the nonprofit from the government would have transparency. However, the private sector is going to have to match all that. That part of the, comp the equation won't be maintained properly. But let me also say, because I've worked with enough businesses to know that they demand accounting every bit as much as taxpayers. So when companies give us money that they will expect a full audit of their resources, and is that not true, gentlemen? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. In fact, to some extent, they may be even greater screwing. Yeah. Uh, they'll demand that too. So of course it will be an audited corporation with financials that will be provided and certainly information that is public will be, will be charged. What I'm excited about is, is really being able to partner with the dynamic companies that have already chosen Iowa. And from my previous experience, when we went out and, and made calls in other states, the best people to sell another company and locate them in Iowa are the ones that are already here. Because they can speak from first-hand experience about the workforce and the experience they had. And then also, of course, the other thing we're looking at is other states like Illinois raising their taxes while we're our so we think that's a great selling point for why you should look at uh, relocating to Iowa or expanding in Iowa rather than in, say, Illinois or California or other states that are going the wrong direction in terms of their tax and business plan. You've already said the letter? Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've already said yes. Debbie got me a lot of, a lot of letters. letters. <laughs> I'm going to send them out. So, 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 so